And if and you were to make a first film, where would you, how would you get it noticed? I mean, how could you sort of get your name on it? What would count on a resume if you're applying for a grant that you made a film? What would you have to show them? Well, when you apply for a grant, you show them the film. Oh, okay. You show so them that's the actual all that film. Oh, that's, that's good. There are jurors like me. I jury these for other people all the time. So um, you send them your best work and okay. only your best work. And they look at it and they, they, it appeals to them fine. If it doesn't appeal to them, don't worry about it because it's just like the lottery. You never know who it's going to be. Mm -hmm. You just have to feel strong about your own work and it's never, you know, that's the same thing with film festivals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's one good thing to do once you finish a film is send it out to film festivals. It's kind of expensive, but I only enter film festivals that don't have entry fees. Mm. So there's lots of them out there um, and you have to pay for the postage and then once your film gets shown, that's great. And that's also something you can put on your resume. Um, and then the other thing you can do now is put it online. Uh, yeah. So I would, you know, put it on my website or put on my website a link to YouTube or definitely put it on YouTube. Um, and then I would do a little promotion thing. I would send out announcements on Facebook, announcements on MySpace or, you know, Twitter or whatever you use. And then pretty soon it's going to get more hits on um, YouTube. I've been posting little clips of my films on, you know, MySpace and Facebook, and so and do it on your own website. You know, that's mm -hmm. just a great way to distribute yourself. And that actually, that actually works for the people who are giving away grant money. So they can look on the website, or they can look at the thing that you've done. And no, they are not going to look on the website yet, but that will happen at some point in the near future. Uh -huh. But now, all they're looking about is your application and what you send in, what you send the in. film that you send in with your application. So you want, to, you want to approach grant writing really seriously and you want to spend a lot of time writing those essays and making sure they're clear and you want to give that essay to someone who's a good writer and have them look at it and maybe edit it for you. That's a really good idea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So a lot of these applications now are online. I would go online, look at what they need, do the essay separately, run them by someone else who's a really good writer, have them edit that essay for you and apply online and it's really not that hard, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And it's such a boost, you know? I don't know what you can get, but maybe $500 or $1,000 or sometimes $2,000, it's a real boost so you can make your next film with, you know, whatever, some professional help or you can right. spend more money on the soundtrack, you know? It's a real boost. And the money's out there. It's definitely out there, so you just have to scratch a little and look for it and then Make that first film, make it good, you know, mm -hmm. do a good job, so that then you can apply for funding and keep going and, you know, be a filmmaker. Now, how do I make a living? I do, I fund all my films with grants. Now I can make a film pretty inexpensively, so some of them I don't have grants for because they're completely in flash. Okay. But then I do hire the sound designer, composer, and musicians, so I need funding for that. So I do other things. I teach, I teach workshops, I teach classes at art colleges. You know, that's a good way to support yourself. Mm -hmm. A lot of mm -hmm. filmmakers support themselves by working part-time and something else. Yeah. So, and then you can also, like, I married someone that's really successful producer <laughs> of animated commercials, so Paul Harris. so, you know. And you could maybe even, maybe it's another angle for you, you start a, a, a dating website with successful, uh, you know, film industry people and yeah. set that up. Yeah, be creative. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, um, we've really enjoyed having you here. Uh, it's been marvelous for us, for all of the people who were fortunate enough to see Joanna's work. I highly recommend you looking at her webpage, which is primopix.com. P-R-I-M-O-P-I-X.com. And you know, I want to say you guys are doing such a great job, because this is such an important thing to have a regional film festival, where filmmakers can come and have their work shown and be introduced, and there was this great party afterwards with great food, and we all got to talk you know, together. It was just great. And then you had these workshops for people. So keep it up. Thank it's you. Good, yeah. Well, again, thanks to Joanna Priestley. And please, if you haven't yet seen um, the Open Lines Festival, come on down next year. Uh, you can look at some of the archives of some of the things we've done in the past. And there are even some, um, some uh, actual short clips of winners who've won uh, Open Lens. And again, check out Joanna's uh, website. And we'll see you next year. Thanks a lot.